welcome to this week's Wellbeing Wednesday video. This week I'm going to do something which I haven't done before previously with my videos. If you've not met me before, my name's Lisa, Lisa French. I work part-time in an office and I'm also a hypnotherapist. If you're interested in well-being and health, please do consider subscribing to my channel. I create new videos every week. Today, I'm going to do something different. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the same well-being tip that I used last week. And the reason for that is it is actually such a good tip and resource even though I say so myself that I have come across something that I've been form, informed of by a few other people as I mentioned last week and it's basically a book a book written by Marie Kondo called The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying and I have to say when I did the video last week I realised when I was doing the research that actually what I'd listened to was somebody else's interpretation of, of Marie's book, which was very good and I, I learnt quite a lot from that. But since then I've actually listened to Marie's book and it is amazing. It is full of so many hints and tips and suggestions of ways of dealing with your stuff. So anybody who has stuff, and by stuff, she covers clothes, papers, those cables that I certainly have got that I've no idea what they are. I have to say that some of them more recently, I have started to put a little label on them, but I have got a bag full of cables and half of them I, I don't know what they're for and there's just she she covers everything kind of hand creams those samples of, of cream that you get in in some shops face creamer and things like that which I always intend to use after the swimming pool or on holiday but don't ever quite seem to get around to it so just accumulate more and more of them and it's she's got so much experience it's clear when listening to what she has to say that she really has got a huge amount of experience of, of dealing with people and I felt that that most things that perhaps I've struggled with some things I've not even realized it's a, a struggle really she kind of mentions and I kind of think oh yes uh, that that's me and it's it really has transformed the way that I look at the things that that I have and also actually my, my life as well because I talk a lot about living in the moment there's a lot of things around mindfulness and things at the moment and I really really fully be believe in that but Marie links it to actually the things that we accumulate as well and suggests ways that you can deal with your stuff to enable yourself to be even more in the moment and I have just absolutely loved the book and I've taken a quite a lot of action this week done quite a few things and I, I just feel so great about what I've done and about the future I really really do one of the things that that I've done is that I am quite keen on socks and I've I've got a, a lot I've got a few less now but I, I've got a lot and I basically I just had them in a a wire basket in a wardrobe so I had them all together but they were they were you know and each pair of socks was kind of linked together 
but they were just in a massive pile and in fact the, the basket was getting a little bit full so actually made it a little bit difficult to get that basket out sometimes or the one above and one of the the key things in, in Marie's book here in her experience what she suggests is folding things and storing things like that in an upright position because when you do that one it takes up a lot less space and actually you can really clearly see what you have she also suggests putting the darker things at the back working towards the, the lighter things I've got socks with animals on, stripes, colours, all, all sorts of different things and so that w was something that, that I did. It took a bit of time but I can just really see that now when I'm picking out the socks to wear in the morning I just so clearly be able to see exactly what I've got whereas in the big pile I had before really I couldn't really see what I'd got a at all and it did make it quite quite difficult really if I was looking for a particular pair of socks kind of rummaging around and it, it wasn't great so although it's taken a bit of time to do that what I'm thinking is that each time you do the washing it's actually not going to take that long to fold up the few pairs of socks for, from that wash so I, I don't think it's going to take too much extra time going forward and I'm really expecting and anticipating the time that I spent today doing that will will just really really pay off and I, I already feel great about about it and that's just one of the things that I did but there's so many different things in her book as I said in my video last week I think on the whole I felt like I was somebody who was pretty organized with, with my things but having read in detail more about her philosophy I realize that there's a lot that I can uh, can do and I've released and let go of a lot of things already one of the other things that really stood out to me was and I, I think we've all done this I don't think I'm the only one I have bought an item of clothing and basically for whatever reason I've either not worn it at all or I've hardly ever worn it I haven't been able to let it go because every time I've done a little clear out I thought well I might wear it and and actually what Marie says in her book is actually when, when that happens one that item has, has taught you something taught you things that actually what you don't like and what perhaps doesn't suit you and and it, it still might have given you pleasure you might have uh, felt pleasure when, when you first purchased it she also talks about when you're releasing things that actually and this isn't for everybody but it, it did resonate with me and just kind of thank that item for the part that it's played in your life the, the pleasure that it has given you and then just allow it to be released and I've taken a, a lot of things to the, the charity shop today I had to get a taxi actually because I had quite a lot of things to take and to kind of release that with your good wishes and gratitude and just allow somebody else that perhaps that item of clothing will will suit better and, and that they will feel a sense of joy uh, when they encounter it rather than actually when each time you see something like that it kind of reminds you and you just feel a bit like oh uh, that was a bit of waste of money so I think that that was something that really stood out to me but there is so much in the book yeah, there really really is so if you've got stuff I really really recommend that that you read the book or listen to the book on audible like I did and it does well for me has transformed the way that I think about my things uh, and my life and it's yeah I, I can't rave on about it enough so that's today's Wellbeing Wednesday tip. As I say, the first time that I've done the very similar topic to, well, the same topic as what I did, did last week. But I feel myself, I've learned a lot in, in the last week and also put these things into practice. There's more to do and actually I'm really looking forward to, to doing it. So what are things that, that you've accumulated during your life that actually you would like to let go have you got lots of 
magazines perhaps or maps that you've kept or there's all sorts of things isn't there that, that we keep and I think what it says in this book is actually if it brings you joy and you're happy with it then that is absolutely fine but just to take a moment and, and consider that really and then decide what you can discard and then after doing that then you move on to deciding where you would like to to keep things and it depends really on where you're at with with kind of your home at the moment um really everyone is individual but i hope that this video has inspired you encouraged you to to have a, a think about is there anything you can do that might be that you've already read the book and already made some changes but maybe you'd like to make a comment below if you have already read the book and let other people know about how it's made you feel and share that so thank you so much for watching my video today i wish you well if you do decide to do a bit of clearing well tidying and and sorting out i'll see you next wednesday bye for now